With the latest release of Altair HyperMesh, it has added workflows from the best-in-class preprocessor that are specialized for CFD users. In this video, we will review how to model solar radiation in HyperMesh CFD. Let's set the physics of our problem. In HyperMesh CFD, we can model single or multi-phase problems. In our case, we will select a single-phase fluid. We will turn on the transient option and heat transfer to model time-driven data for solar radiation. We will select air as our fluid, but note there are numerous fluid types that can be applied. We will also model the frame around the glass windows with a set thickness of 0.025 meters and model it as aluminum. With our physics set, we can now assign our boundary conditions. Our first step is to set the initial flow conditions in our sunroom. The sunroom has two vents at the top of the ceiling. We will assign our first vent with a flowing air velocity and a set temperature for the flow. Note conditions can be variable, but we will assign constant values. We will also assign the opposing vent with ambient conditions. Our next step is to apply the convection effects on all the walls and the glass windows. We will key in ambient values for all these surfaces. Specifically, we will apply a value of 283.15 Kelvin and a convective heat coefficient of about 20 watts per meter squared Kelvin. This is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This will represent a cold morning temperature. As we apply our surface fluxes, we can easily hide or isolate surfaces to apply conditions effortlessly. Now that the wall conditions and flow conditions have been set, we can apply our radiation conditions. In our case, we will apply time-driven solar radiation data in the X, Y, and Z directions. We also need to apply emissivity values on surfaces to determine if they absorb or reflect radiation into our model. For the most part, the majority of our model will absorb all radiation and be considered as a black body. However, the glass windows will allow radiation to transmit through them, and we can apply reflective values for the windows. We can easily apply all surface emissivity values through the model browser, and we can also color code our surfaces so we can visualize our boundary conditions easier. We can also isolate or hide surfaces to apply radiation values easy. Our model is now set up and we are ready to mesh and solve our simulation. HyperMesh CFD utilizes the power of HyperMesh's pre-processing and users can apply meshes with ease for simple or complex models. In our case, we will apply a mesh to reflect a reasonable growth rate from fine to normal sized elements, from the windows to the walls. This will ensure an accurate but reasonable solve for our model. After our meshing completes, we can cross-section our model to visualize our interior mesh. After meshing, we can set our conditions for solving. We can customize the output requests to control how much data we save to our hard disk. Additionally, we can set how many cores to utilize during solving. During solving, we can monitor our progress to check solver status or errors. Now that the run has completed, let's look at how the room heated over time. Let's hide most of the surfaces so we can only see the furniture in the room and create a temperature plot. We can see through the plot that the sun heats up the room to over 295 Kelvin, which is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Definitely a much more comfortable temperature than our initial 50 degree temperature. We can scale our chart to also address any localized hotspots, as well as setting animation settings to visualize dynamic behavior more clearly. HyperMesh CFD's modeling capabilities gives users the flexibility to easily solve and visualize advanced CFD problems. To learn more about HyperMesh CFD or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.